During World War II, the aircraft carrier supplanted the battleship as king of the sea. These magnificent ships changed the way naval warfare was fought. The remarkable motion picture footage you are about to see will give you a close-up look into the lives of the thousands of sailors who served aboard these giant carriers, ships with flight decks longer than three football fields. As the carriers steamed to their theaters of operation with no perils in sight, there was time for a little fun to keep the men loose. These truly were floating cities with a population of 3,500, equipped with everything from soda fountains to libraries to reasonably comfortable sleeping quarters. The men were well cared for. But life between missions often meant weeks of unending boredom on these huge ships. And fear was ever present these men had to be ready to react on a moment's notice. Planes are launched to respond to a threat in the area. This footage was taken from the gun cameras of U.S. fighters, here attacking a Japanese reconnaissance plane. Typically, when a U.S. naval task force is discovered by the Japanese, these commanders must immediately decide what to do. A strategy session is held as guns and planes are ready for action. Then, the call comes in. Pilot, man your plane. Pilot, man your plane. There's not a minute to spare. One by one, the carrier's aircraft are launched to protect the great ships from the oncoming Japanese attack planes. Fanning out overhead, the fighters do their best to protect the task force. The attack is repulsed, but not without casualties, and nothing is more dangerous than a shipboard fire. The enemy could always return, sometimes with disastrous consequences for the Allied fleet. But Allied planes would get their turn, too. You are about to see some of the best combat footage ever filmed from the wings of American planes. As the war progressed, the Japanese had fewer and fewer skilled pilots to take to the skies and protect their ships. Once the target was sighted, there was no escape. Remember, these are not recreations. You're watching the real thing in real time as the pilots saw it.
time to head back to that floating airstrip called home. For some, it's much easier said than done. It's the job of these men to guide the planes in for a safe landing, taking into account the crosswinds, the pitch of the ship, and the shape of the plane that's landing. Once again, fire rears its ugly head. It's crucial to douse the flames as soon as possible because of the fuel and munitions stored on the ship's deck. These men are risking their lives to save the life of a trapped pilot who had been unable to release his leaking incendiaries. With the plane's fuel tanks still holding 75 gallons of high-octane gas, the chance of explosion is real. The men who brave this danger deserve every citation they get. But not all the damage is to the plane. The windshield you're about to see is bloodstained from the wounds suffered by a brave pilot. Somehow, he managed to land the plane. This is the true face of war. And still, they limp home. and the casualties mount as the battle goes on. Another squadron home to roost. Unbelievably, most of the men in these crashes survive to fight another day. Damaged planes are pushed over the side to clear the decks. The pilots say, any landing you can walk away from is a good one. Unfortunately, not everyone is able to walk away. The sacrifice of these pilots and crews enabled the Allies to turn the tide of the war against the Japanese. Their heroism changed the balance of power in the Pacific, as did the courage of bomber crews in Europe who helped change the course of the war against Germany.